morning, PJ Church friends. So good to see you again. Are you ready to start our brand new lessons? For the next few weeks, it's going to be like we're traveling and seeing a museum. Have you ever been in a museum? Yeah, the one in Winnipeg, right? That's a good one. I like that one too. So right now, we're in the lobby of the museum, getting ready to start our adventure. But before we go in, before we get too far, we're gonna play a little game. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Can't get enough extreme action? Do you have a need for speed that can't be quenched? Is snowboarding down Mount Everest in an avalanche your idea of an awesome adventure? Then you've come to the right place. Because it's time for World Championship Penguin Curling! Not what you were expecting. Oh, don't let their appearance fool you. When these penguins hit the ice, look out! Because it's about to get wild! Let's meet our four competitors. First up is Blizzard. Now, everyone who thinks Blizzard is going to win, stand up and cheer as loud as you can! Next up, we have Snowball. Everyone who thinks Snowball is going to win, stand up and cheer as loud as you can. In the third starting spot is Ice Cube. If you think Ice Cube is going to win, stand up and cheer as loud as you can. In our final spot is Popsicle. If you think Popsicle is going to win, Stand up and cheer as loud as you can! All right, our penguins are ready to get this party started. Don't forget to cheer as loud as you can for your penguin. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Then they're off. Oh boy, just look at them go. The track is slick today. This is gonna be a close one. Oh my! The speed is unreal! This is anybody's race. Blizzard makes a move. Popsicle is not backing down. Ooh, Snowball almost wiped out. Blizzard almost wiped out. Ice Cube is battling for the lead. This is a record-setting pace. I'm afraid to even blink. Wow! Ice Cube wins a photo finish. Congrats to all you Ice Cube fans out there. I don't know about you folks, but I was on the edge of my seat that entire race. I think I need to drink some coffee just to calm down. Be sure to join us next time for more Penguin Curling Action! Well, that was a fun game. I liked it. Did you? Did you like it? Did your penguin win? <laughs> it did? Awesome. So, we are going to go right now to our video. And we are going to learn and have an introduction about everything we're learning for the next few weeks. So let's go see a little bit more on Grow TV. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. Me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey there, kids. You will not believe the day I have. Today, I get to go to one of my favorite places in the world. Can you guess where? Nope, not the arcade in the alley of the abandoned Walmart. Nope, not the celebrity house, the world-renowned SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm going to the museum. It's gonna be great. Imagine all the things I get to see today. Dinosaur bones, ancient artifacts, a rat the size of a bone ball. <laughs> it's a rat the size of a bone ball. Let's get inside. Hmm, it's not opening. Maybe it's jammed. What should I do? Oh look, there's a keypad. Maybe I can just enter my phone number. Look at there, it worked. Let's get inside. Wow, look at this. Isn't this incredible? Where should I go first? Um, what is that? I should probably call somebody. Hey, Carl! Andy, I need your help. I'm in the museum and the alarm's going off. You're at the museum? Yes, I need your help. The alarm is going off. Yes, now I need your help. 
The museum. Aren't they closed today? Yes, the museum. Quit asking questions and help me. All right, one sec. I think I have a buddy that works there. Let me give him a call. I'll, I'll give you a call right back, okay? Oh, no. This is so bad. What's going to happen? Am I going to go to jail? Oh, no. They won't let me wear my sweaters in jail. I'll be so sad. It's so cold. What will Mama think? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Andy, thank you so much. No worries. Uh, now listen, Carl, I do have some bad news. All right, hit me. It looks like you might be in there for a while. What? Why? Well, first off, the museum is closed today, so I'm not even sure how you even got in, but well, my buddy who works there is out of town and he was able to turn the alarms off, but he's not gonna be able to open the doors until he gets back. When will that be? Later tonight, after dinner time. So are you saying I'm stuck in this museum all day? Yeah, I guess so, man. I wish I could help, but uh, um, stay safe and I'll talk to you later, okay? No, you can't go. I'm terrified of being here all by myself. What am I gonna do all day? What am I gonna eat? Well, let's look around. Do you see anything around you that looks like food? Uh, so the only thing I see around me is some honey and these bugs. <laughs> looks like you're gonna be living like John the Baptist, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? John the Baptist, you know, cause he, you know, he, he ate the, uh, you don't, you don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Well, John the Baptist was a great prophet that was in the Bible and he was famous for eating locusts and honey, which locusts is like a type of bug. Really? Well, there's no harm in trying. Hmm. Honestly, not bad. What else did John do? <laughs> Well, in the book of John, which was written by the disciple John, not John the Baptist, the first chapter starts off like this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Wow, was that talking about John the Baptist? Nope, when it mentioned the light, that actually meant Jesus. John the Baptist was sent by God before Jesus to prepare other people. Prepare them? Prepare them for what? Well, to prepare them to see God. What? These people back then are going to see God? They were. How? How is it possible to see God? Well, like those verses say, the Word was with God and the Word was God. Wait, so the Word means Jesus? Yep. So that means Jesus is God. Yep, and that's what I mean when I say we can see God through Jesus. How cool is that? So it was only people that saw Jesus in person saw God through him, right? Nope, that's what makes this so amazing. We can introduce our friends, our family, everyone we know to Jesus. And through that, they can see God. Wow, this is such great news. Well kids, you heard the great news and it's our big idea today. On the count of three, we will shout out, we can see God through Jesus, all together, okay? One, two, three. We can see God through Jesus. <laughs> Excellent job, everyone. Now, I've heard that Carl is stuck in the museum for the whole day, so make sure to come back next week so we can find out what Carl is up to. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. It was wonderful to be here with you. I hope you're getting all ready for school to start back up and that you've had lots of fun on your winter break. So we're going to pray and then you can go back out and maybe go play in the snow or something fun like that today. All right? So dear Jesus, we thank you that you are here with us. We thank you that you love us and that you're always guiding us in the way we need to go. We love you. Thanks for loving us. Amen. <laughs>
to turn over a new leaf. And why did the man sprinkle sugar on his pillow on New Year's Eve? He wanted to start the year with sweet dreams.